So today we're going to be showing you how to do the kick drum and how we like to do it in our production, basically. Uh, here's the loop we've done. Uh, this, is, this is a kick um, over one of our loops that we have. Okay, so I'm going to mute everything else um, and I'm just going to solo the kick. Uh, this is what it sounds like on its own. But this is how it sounds dry, by the way. As you can hear, very messy. Um, so we're going to do one by one. We're going to go through what exactly we put on the channel and how to make it sound like it did when we first played it. So first thing, compression. It's just how we like to do things. We always put an SSL comp on our uh, channel to start because uh, we like to compress. Um, as you can see, got some threshold back going on there. Uh, not much makeup. Um, a lot of attack and a slow, oh, an auto release. Uh, we think the, the SSL comp's actually got a really good uh, way of knowing um, how much release to give. I mean, you can you can mess about with it yourself, but the auto one is actually it's kind of it's kind of useful. It yeah, <laughs> it, you can you can mess around with this as we we normally leave it on auto. Um, so this is what it sounds like without, and this is uh, this is it with. Uh, next one out, we've got our EQ. Uh, this is a this is an SS, SSL EQ with a kick. Um, as you can see, it's clipping a little bit. Um, I guess we could turn it down a bit. There you go. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've got the the low frequencies turned right up. Uh, some some high mid frequencies, uh, and not much highs because if you see, it starts sounding much much like a basketball. Um, so yeah, we we keep that there. Uh, now we got TransX. This is a really good useful waves plugin and basically if you ever if you ever feel like your kick's just not punchy enough um, open up transex multi uh, flick around with a flick around with the presets I mean you don't you don't have to do much I mean we've got it on here Aaron kick one um, it, it, <laughs> it's a very good preset it literally it brings out all the lows uh, makes it very punchy and you don't have to do much uh, next thing on the list got this EQ this is one I done earlier now you can hear without it and then you can hear it with what I've done is boosted uh, between 100 and 200 so I've got 142 um, it's kind of the sweet spot for the kick I mean you can sweep around and you can find out where it is uh, but I'm gonna leave it sort of there I've cut out 41 um, because you don't really need anything below that. I mean, we've got bases going on we need to work with, so just cut it there. Uh, to get rid of the boxiness and, you know, the mid, I've taken out 275. Uh, I feel like this area between between 200 and 500, uh, you want to sweep around there because that's usually where the boxiness comes from, and we don't really like that. I've also taken out... Uh, 1,300 just because a personal taste. I didn't really like it. I mean, I'm being fussy, but we, yeah, we just didn't really like it. Um, so that's the EQ. Uh, now, lastly, I've got a noise gate. You can hear that straight away. Uh, it's basically taken off the tail. Um, it literally cleans up the kick. Uh, you, you don't want to yeah, very really sharp and punchy. Um, you just, if you go up with the release, you know, you can, it comes out a bit more. But that's, that's exactly where I want it because it's still got the punchiness. It's still got some low end in there without that horrible tail. Um, we left the limiter on. As you can see, it's, you know, it's not really reducing much. Um, but without it, yeah, it's, it's going to be clipping, yeah. So we, we stick it on. Um, obviously when we mix down we take it off it's back to zero um, 
Uh, yeah, now we've got, we're just going to show you a, new, a few other tips that we like to do. So we've bust H comp to our kick channel. Um, so I'm going to take it off now. We're going to play it. And without it, this is without it. I'm going to feed it some. And all that's doing is just, uh, if you click on, click on this, it's got a nice drum punch compressor on it. And what it's doing is literally tightening up the kick, making it punchy, making it clean. Um, if I bypass this, it's just you can see on the you can see on the needle here. It's you know it's compressing it a lot. It's pulling it back, um, but it's really really useful doing that. Uh, one thing I will add as well is uh, bus some silver compression. Um, this is a tool we like to use um, often in our production. If something just doesn't have enough punch, if it's not loud enough, if it's not you want to bring it to life. Um, actually, I'll let, I'll let you do this. Yeah, if you want to bring out your kick more and you want to add a bit more like punchiness to it, you'll simply bust your silver compression. The way I like to have it is, you know, have my attack quite short. So we have like a nice punch instead of like kind of a kind of long starting. But anyway, so let's hear what it's doing. You can see it's compressing now and it's really starting to hammer out. If you listen to that in the mix, you really it will really stand out out of everything the more you compress it through the silver compressor. So let me take it off. It's probably in the mix already. Like, but if you want to put it in the mix a bit more, you can just add it to your ear. Once it's in, you'll be able to hear it anyway. And that's how we've done our drums. Thank you very much. And... Uh, stay tuned and you'll be able to see how we've done our snare uh, our other snare our hi-hat, bouncy hi-hats and our off snares we're going to be describing them one by one in our next videos we hope you've enjoyed this thank you